Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share with you the best and worst of NYX Cosmetics. I have tried so many NYX products over the years, and it's it's kind of crazy as I went through my entire collection and pulled everything out. I thought, is this really? I have a lot, but like the amount of NYX that I've tried certainly trumps the amount that I currently have. A lot of what I've kept are things that I genuinely really, really love, but there are some duds here that I wanted to mention so that you can avoid at all costs. So, if you like this kind of a video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll subscribe if you like these st this style, these style, slow down, this style of videos. I hope that you'll stick around and catch some more of my videos. Let's go ahead and get into it. Also, this top is from Kohl's. Isn't it kind of cool? It's got like a, if I can do it, scalloped like bottom and it's like kind of open in the back. And then this necklace is from Target. Okay, so <laughs> where to start? Should we start with something I didn't like? Let's start with something I did not like. It's the NYX Ombre Blush. This stuff looked so patchy when I put it on. It's in the shade Nude To Me. And it's kind of like this peachy, you know, kind of the ombre idea, but I've tried it a few different ways and it just looked crazy on me. There's nothing wrong with the color. It's a pretty color, it's pigmented. But when I put it on, it looked okay. But then like within an hour, it looked crazy. Like it just wore off really weird. I've tried it with different foundations, primers, powders. I mean, it hasn't seemed to matter. Any way I tried this, it never looked good. And I don't know why. So if you've tried any other shades of this and you know that they work well, let me know what shades below because I wanted this to work, but it just did not. Okay, the next product is an absolute favorite of mine. It's the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. So if you have ever tried the uh, banana powder from Ben Nye and you're like, uh, it doesn't look good on me because maybe you're a little fairer than that, this is the answer because A, it's great because it's not a loose powder so it's way quicker to apply. But I use this almost every single day to set my under eye because I feel like no matter what I use, it always needs to be set just a little bit and then on top of this, it brightens it. So it's so quick and easy. I just grab a small like fluffy brush, grab a little bit and I put it there and it just brightens that area so well. It stays in place. It's so cheap. It's I'm never gonna run out of it because that's the only area. I'll use it there and I'll sometimes use it on my nose and like up here. I love it so, so, so much. This is one that when I run out, I will buy again. Next up is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This is one of my favorite primers of all time. Drugstore high end doesn't matter. One of my favorites because it's so hydrating. I'll put on a moisturizer and then I'll put this on. Any foundation I put on top of it, no matter how drying the foundation is, it instantly looks like I have an inner glow because of this. I don't think it's too wet and that's why I like it, but it's it's so good. I always compare it to my Smashbox, the Smashbox Blue Primer. I have that too in, in my recent dupe video where I had a ton of dupes. I can link it below if you want to see it. Um, I compared these. They are the same product. I swear to you they're the same and this is like under $10 and of course the Smashbox one is, I don't know, like 30 bucks. So this stuff is amazing. Run, run, run out and get it. I love it. Again, when I run out of this, I will buy it again. Okay. So, if you're curious about what I'm wearing on my lips, by the way, it's one of the Superstay Matte inks, like the new one, and I'm wearing the shade 15 Lover. I really like it. It's actually staying on way better than I thought it would, to be honest. All right, let's keep going. Another favorite. I've got, like, so many favorites I just want to share. The NYX Dose of Dew Highlighting Stick. <sighs> my favorite my current favorite highlighter. I travel with this because you can just grab it and go ch -ch -ch and then kind of blend it in with your finger. You can get less by just putting your finger on it and doing it. It is the most beautiful, natural, dewy glow. Oh my gosh, like this stuff is amazing. It's just the right amount of creaminess where if it were too creamy, it wouldn't stay in place. But if it were less creamy, it wouldn't be as easy to blend. It's right in between. And I think even the packaging is cute, like the font they chose to use. I'm never gonna run out of this stick. It is amazing. I don't know that there's even a shade. No, it's just dose of dew. And they call it, by the way, a face gloss because it really does make it look dewy and not like a highlighter stripe. It's amazing. Again, any I think any version of highlight that you like, you would like this because whether you like just a little bit of a dewy look or if you like a lot of highlighter, you could use this under a powder highlight and it would really amp it up if you wanted to. Let's talk about another dud. 
This is the NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner. It is so dry, and I don't know if I got a dud or what, but the day I bought it at Ulta, I came home to use it, and it was completely dry. So, I don't know. Again, let me know if you've tried this. Are they all just kind of a drier formula or what? Because I would consider myself a cream and gel eyeliner connoisseur because I love that style of eyeliner. I use it almost every single day. But I was very unimpressed with this. Again, let me know because maybe it's that I got a dud, but I've never really heard anyone talking about this anyway. So if you're looking for a drugstore cream liner, try the L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. It has a gold lid. It's amazing. Also the Maybelline Eye Studio one is just as amazing. I think I like the L'Oreal one just a little bit better. I'll link it below. Back to my loves. My oldie, like back to when I first started my channel, love. And this is the second one I've owned. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. Of course it's pink. It has a very strong cherry smell, so if you don't like that, stay far, far away because it's definitely strong. But it's just the perfect little sweet everyday pink. Isn't it sweet? Isn't it cute? I just, I love this. I think the formula is just the right amount of creamy. It's not sticky. The pigmentation's not too much, but it's not too light. It just makes me feel very put together when I put it on. And also it just gives me the warm fuzzies because again, I loved this back when I first started my channel. And it has a little bow on the lid, which is really cute. A very popular NYX product is their Angel Veil Primer. A lot of people compare it to the, a lot of people compare it to the really expensive Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Of course, they both have veil in it too. Um, they are very, very, very similar. I like both. I will say this type of primer is not my favorite kind of primer because I tend to have dry skin. So for me, it's not my favorite, but if you have oily skin, you would love this because not only does this soak up oil, but it, kind of perfects your face. It's kind of pore filling and it sucks up oil. So it really, it does a lot of stuff and they've kind of jacked the price of this up. I don't remember what it used to cost, but this was like $15. I was like, Nix, you are not supposed to be that expensive. I'm sorry, you're not. I don't care how good the product is. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I will always consider Nix a drugstore brand. So when things are like $15, I'm like, you might as well call yourself freaking high end. That's like almost the cost of a high end lipstick. Anyway, I'm just being silly, but still it is really good. So, and of course it's still like more than half the price of this. So it's still a way better deal and they're very, very similar. So on that vein, the NYX pore filler, I really do like. I think the reason I like this a little bit more than that is because for me, I just have more uses for it. I take this and the Angel Veil is more of like a white primer. This one is like a beige color, almost like orange. But when you blend it in, it really fills in your pores. So what I'll do, I won't put this all over my face. I just put it on my nose. And depending on how my skin's looking, I might put it up here and here. I don't do it there as much because sometimes that just makes it look worse and like more cakey. But it does a great job on my nose because that's the area where I feel like foundation slips and slides right off of it throughout the day and my chin too. In fact, I feel like my chin, it's already like wearing off. Anyway, so I love to put this in these regions because it does a great job no matter what your skin type is. So this is a fantastic one. Sometimes you can get like a smaller size of this or maybe this is the small size. I don't know, but it's really, it's a great primer. All right, moving along to one of my holy, no, my holy grail liquid liner of all time, out of every brand, out of all price statuses, that's not, out of all price levels. The NYX Epic Ink Liner is the best liquid liner I've ever tried. I've probably tried 40, 50 eyeliners, both expensive, cheap. This is the best one I've ever found. Isn't that awesome? Um, it's, you know, $5.99. It, I just made a really thick line. It can make really thin lines. It can make really thick lines. It's incredibly black. It stays put. Do they claim that it's waterproof? No, but I would almost bet that it would hold up pretty well in water. Now, if you're straight up swimming, uh, I don't know. But like, for example, I was wearing this yesterday in like a little, like, it was a water slide and so you got a little bit wet on your face. It was just fine, it did not budge. So this stuff is really good. It's got a brush tip like the Kat Von D one does, but it might as well be felt tip because it's so precise and thin that it kind of feels the same. It's great for doing winged liner. Oh my gosh, it is the best, the best, the best. And it's so much more inexpensive than a bunch of other comp comparable liquid liners. This one's better. Let's talk about a silly product, shall we? <laughs> this is the NYX Lid Lacquer. 
I bought this because I kept seeing like all these models and they're like <laughs> and they have like it would be like nothing really on the lid but like a gloss and it looks so pretty on them and I'm like I want to try that I don't know where I thought I was going to get away with this well I was like well NYX has something like that let me just try that and so it says it's clear and it says make a dramatic statement on and off the runway NYX, uh, the NYX lid lacquer delivers high shine for a glossy, edgy eye look. This is the kind of stuff that you put on and you open your eyes and your eyes, like, you can't shut them. They're, like, stuck together. It's, like, peel, peel, peel. Like, every time. It never dried down. It looked, it didn't look bad, but I put it on top of, like, I think maybe a cream shadow. And what it did is it took the, the cream shadow and it just, like, totally it disappeared into all of the lines of my eyes and that never happens to me so I'm like so it was definitely this which kind of makes sense when you're putting on something like this that never really dries down but I even tried it just alone and while it kind of did look cool it would not have lasted longer than like five minutes because it, it was so annoying and it was constant so I ended up taking it off so it's kind of one of those things that it was fun to play with and I'm glad I've tried it because I can tell you about it but I'm like, it's kind of a silly product. Just silly, you're just silly. But I mean, it literally, texture-wise, it feels like a lip gloss. You might as well just get a clear lip gloss and put it on there, save the money, because that is what it feels like you put on your lips. That might be their lip gloss formula, I don't know. <laughs> Moving along, another favorite of mine, this is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is a clear eyebrow gel that you can just, I can put it on now. Just put, what is on my face? Okay. You can just put it on your brows and it kind of combs them in place. And what I appreciate about this is that it doesn't really, it, it has somewhat of a hold, but it's not so strong that you just feel like you have cement eyebrows. Does that make sense? Sorry, my hair air dried today, which is awesome. I'm, I'm very thankful that my hair can air dry and not look totally crazy, but sometimes it still looks crazy. Anyway. I really, really like this stuff. It's, uh, this is probably like the fourth one I've had of this because I always buy the Anastasia one too, but it's way more expensive, like three times the price. And that one has a really strong hold, but I don't necessarily need that for every day. This is what I like for every day because it doesn't look or feel crunchy, but it holds your brows in place. I love it. So I have two NYX concealers I wanted to talk about. Okay, Jessica, this is not going to work this way. Two very, very different concealers. This one's the NYX HD Studio Concealer. I have the shade Fair, which is like way too light for me. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this is just a very standard concealer. I don't think there's anything really overly special about it. It's not bad, but both of these sink into fine lines like most concealers do. I mean, that's just kind of a fact of life. But this one's a lot thinner and I just don't find myself reaching for it very often because I think it gives decent coverage. It certainly is brightening the shade that I have. But I just don't think it's anything to write home about. If you're looking for a concealer and you're in the NYX aisle and you find a good shade, I think it's good, but I don't think it's like a standout concealer by any means. So it's kind of, I guess it's kind of one of those meh products. Not bad, but it's not like needs a standing ovation. Now the next one is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I had tried this out. It's waterproof and it is waterproof. I tried it out in my waterproof video and I can link that below. I did a whole face of waterproof stuff. This was the concealer I used and it does not move. It does not move. I have it in the shade light. It's one of those squeezy tubes and it's a very thick concealer, but it does a great job. It hides any dark circle. I mean, it hides whatever you want it to hide. It really is an amazing concealer. Now, blending it in to try to look natural is a little more difficult because it's not, it's not necessarily meant to look natural. It's meant to cover a lot, in which case, it is gonna look somewhat artificial in that way. Not necessarily in a bad way. So like if I'm filming, I like wearing this because it really brightens the areas I want brightened and it gets that across. But if you're gonna be like up close and personal, it's definitely gonna be there. You're gonna see it. But it still is a really good concealer. And for the price, this is totally a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I've had both. I think I might like this one better. I think this one's a little bit creamier. but. Great coverage, a really good concealer if that's what you're looking for. Another favorite of mine that I didn't think I would like as much as I do is the NYX eyeshadow base. This I got in white, and I got it because I want white for when, A, I wanna cover like veining on my like eyelid, but it's great because you can put it on and it definitely is white, but it, it totally blanks out that area and any color you put on top, 
even if it's a neutral, it really makes them stand out in such a way that I feel like it's really making the eyeshadows do their job. So not only does it hold the eyeshadow in place all day and kind of battle creases, it just does a great job of canceling out the areas so you really have a blank canvas. Do I wear this every single day? No, because it is a little bit more work to blend it in. It's a creamy formula, but you wanna make sure it's kind of even and that takes a little bit of time. So while I think it's a great product, it's not, for me, useful for every day. It's great for videos, great for tutorials, and it's great for when you're maybe going out and you really want your look to look bold, but I don't think you need it for every day. Does that make sense? A dud. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I had decently high hopes because I like the Anastasia Brow Pomade, but I heard a lot of people say this is totally a dupe. It's just not, it's not, uh, I hate to call it a dud because I know so many people like it. It's just not as easy to blend into your brows as the Anastasia one is. And I think that's what you're paying for. So if you just want it for the color and you can make it work and you're willing to put forth the extra effort, it's not a bad product. It's just not as good as that. And so I don't like to put my stamp of approval, it's an amazing product when I know there are better products out there. Um, and I think when it comes to like the price point, yes, this is cheaper, but the Anastasia one's around $20 and this one's probably around 10. If you could save up and get the Anastasia one, these are gonna last you a very long time. Even if you use it every day, it, it just lasts forever. So that is one of those makeup products that's probably a worthwhile investment because they say they go bad in six months, but they last a lot longer than that if you're really good with them. They really do. And um, so it's kind of one of those things that I would almost say it's worth saving your money and spending it on. Um, anyway, so this is just a pretty much a dud just because it doesn't work as well, but it's not horrible. So maybe it is kind of a mad product. And I have mine in the shade Espresso, by the way. A couple more products. So this is the NYX Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette. I loved this stuff. The actual shade is called Olive You, and they have a few. These shadows are great quality. They blend really well. They're super pigmented. They're big pans, which I think is great. And while I don't use every color in this palette, like I don't really use that yellow, the green I sometimes use, the purple, not all the time, but they have this beautiful matte right here, which I really appreciate, and this one's matte as well. So you can actually do some good looks with them, but mostly it's just the quality of the shadows. They're really pigmented. They kick up some powder, but not too much. Not so much that it wrecks your look. Does that make sense? But they're also really blendable and they stay on. So all in all, I think this is a great palette. Now again, their palettes can get kind of pricey. So I always wait for like the Ulta buy one get one half off sales just to make it a little bit more worth your money. But I'll show you some swatches. Their shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are gorgeous. They're just beautiful shadows. I mean, beautiful. The only dud in this is this weird shade right there it's like kind of like a champagne almost it literally just like creates just a trail of glitter dust and that's it i mean there's no payoff but every other shade is gorgeous so you know you got to kind of go into it if you're really dying for this palette knowing that all the other shades are gonna be good but there is one total dud in there but it, overall a great palette next product is this nyx first base primer spray Primer sprays are interesting because every time I use them, I think, is this working? Like, is it? But the way that I like to use them, and I do like this one, the way I like to use them is I still put on a primer, but I'll do this, like once I've got my skincare on, like I'll put like a day serum on and like a moisturizer, I'll just spray this on and just kind of let that soak in while I'm just, I don't know, getting a YouTube video pulled up. Just because I feel like it kind of helps to kind of even out my skin tone and get it ready. And then I still put a primer on. So it really is an extra step that I don't do every day. But I, I, I never want to just use these as primers. I just don't think it's enough. And that's just my own, uh, you know, brain doing that to myself. But this one's nice. I feel like it's kind of soothing. And like I said, I feel like it just kind of preps my skin for the day. But um, you could totally put this on first and then a moisturizer if you wanted. Kind of like a toner type, type of a thing. Um, it says it's a lightweight mist that creates a smooth canvas for impeccable makeup application. Again, I don't think it works as a primer alone. That's just me. 
But if you use this and you feel like it really does, let me know and maybe I should try it a different way. But but I think it's good. And there are other primer sprays that are much more expensive. So if you're in, if you're just curious to try it, I think this would be a great one to try first. The last product I'm gonna talk about is the NYX Skinny Black Liner. This is awesome if you like skinny liners because like I love my Hourglass 1.5 millimeter. And actually, I wanna compare. Yeah, these are both just as like the same size, which is fantastic. But I just don't feel like it's as creamy as the Hourglass. The Hourglass one is kind of like unbelievably creamy. And so that's another thing where you are paying, but you are absolutely paying for quality. I have constantly looked for a dupe for this Hourglass one and it, I can't find one. This is the closest I've come size wise, but it's just not as black and I'll show you the swatches. The one on the right is the Hourglass one and the one on the left is the NYX. The NYX one just isn't as black, it's not as creamy, but thin wise it's great because if you just wanna do your waterline or like kind of tight lining between your lashes, these are great for that, but you do have to work a little harder because the NYX one's also a little bit drier. So. You know, again, it depends on what your budget is. The NYX one's not bad. It's still really good. It's just not quite as creamy, etc. But I will say like the Hourglass one, you fly through. I mean, it's so creamy and you use it up so quickly. So you would save a ton of money going the NYX route. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this style of video, definitely give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos that I have done. I've done like a Wet n Wild whole brand review of best and worst. I'll link that one below if you're interested. And I've also done Elf. So I'll link those both below. Other than that, I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.